So this is an example of a working schedule. Um, this is a schedule in progress. And this is for a student who um, has multiple disabilities, who is um, blind but has um, intellectual impairment and other disabilities. And this is a working schedule because when you're working on these um, tactile tangible symbols, sometimes you have to tweak it uh, depending on the student needs. So I've added Braille um, because the student is um, just beginning to learn Braille and the print is really for the benefit of other staff who are working with the student on schedules. So I've put some real objects here, a piece of a sponge and also a um, plastic fork, um, one of those hard um, reusable ones um, for life skills. So students are working on um, washing dishes and other skills like that and if that changes within the class that she's doing we'll change those symbols if we need to uh, like I said we're still tweaking this um, this one represents math so um, we have a tactile braille ruler this is from APH and then um, we have some blocks um, and by the way these also can be removed and then put back in they're held together with um, with velcro so if the student needs to take them out to explore a little bit um, can take them out and hold them it could be three-dimensional and then put them back and then um, for music same thing we have the little tambourine and that can be removed also so this one is the morning schedule and then um, for lunch because this is what the cafeteria always has is the fork that's with this napkin and this packet and this also can be removed the student wants to further explore that um, and then the braille is written there also for that. Okay, so for the afternoon schedule, um, one of my colleagues who also is a science person, um, she's certified in science, suggested um, that I use a test tube. So for now, that's what we're using for science. Um, and we'll see if, if, if that makes sense for the students. And then for English, um, I just made a mini book and just have uh, print and braille in there. Um, for choir, we um, have an APH sound uh, page. It's a little button that you can record about 10 seconds. And if I press the button, student presses the button. It has a choir in the beginning, so that represents the choir. Um, and have something tactile that's on it so that the student can more easily find the button to play. And for APE and GEM, I have this little mini... A, it's a real football, but it's one of the small ones that they sell in the stores of different sizes. So we have that ball, and that also can be detached with the Velcro. I'm doing a one-hand recording, so normally we'd use two hands to detach and reattach. And so this, this part of the schedule actually is the one that's flexible. So I actually have this on a different board, and this can be removed. Like I said, this is a one-hand operation. Um, I don't have the, my iPad on the stand, which I probably should have. So this one can be removed, um, added, because this is um, these may not happen every day at the same time and need to be changed. So I have them on a separate board, and I have this attached so that the um, strips of Velcro are in the front. Um, and for this one, and the back also, so that they can attach to the afternoon schedule. And then I have the dance sound page also so the macarena for dance and then of course um, for braille we just have a braille sheet um, and it's an uncontracted braille the student will be um, doing uncontracted braille due to her additional disabilities um, and the severe intellectual impairment so we'll start off with uncontracted braille and see where we go with that so we have the word braille written out and then also a, B, C, and D, and so this represents Braille for her, and of course it's also, um, this page in the schedule is also written in Braille, so when I go to um, work with the student, I bring this and let her know it's time for Braille. So this is just an example of a um, tactile, um, real object schedule uh, for morning and afternoon for a student who is blind with additional disabilities.